This is the Victor Sinclair Connecticut Yankee Robusto. Welcome to Harris Garbage. Thank you for joining me. Where tonight I'll be taking a look at this Victor Sinclair Connecticut Yankee. I measured it. It's like a four and seven eighths by fifty, so something of a short Robusto. Um, really small cigar. Seemed good for kind of a hot day because it's like ninety two here right now. As far as the wrapper goes, it's a Connecticut grown Havana seed wrapper, and it looks good. There's a couple prominent veins here and there, but really nothing terrible at all. It's got a real, real fine tooth to it. As far as the cap goes, it kind of looks to me like a single cap. So kind of like, what is that, the Padron 64 series. Double cap is definitely the standard. Triple cap is something of a rarity. But single caps, you almost never see just a single cap. So that's kind of weird. Kind of makes cutting a little bit of a challenge as opposed to the double cap. But aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> The cigar is aesthetically pleasing from an aesthetic standpoint. Really cool band, wrapper looks good. So I'm gonna cut it, I'm gonna light it, I'm gonna smoke it, I'm gonna give you my first thoughts on the Victor Sinclair Connecticut. Getting started on this, uh oh, I lost my ash. Getting started on this Connecticut Yankee, and I'm really surprised so far. The main flavor I'm getting is a really oily tobacco. Now that's something I associate more with medium full-bodied cigars and full-bodied cigars. And this is a medium-bodied cigar, so it was definitely a flavor I wasn't expecting. It's sort of ignorant of me, but when I have a medium or a mild medium, I expect a lot of, you know, a lot of hay, a lot of grass, a lot of right, light roast coffee. And there is some light roast coffee in here. There's just a touch of leather, some floral notes, but I definitely wasn't expecting to get an oily tobacco out of this. It's uh, very welcome. I'm not complaining at all, I really enjoy it. Construction is good, you can see the ash just fell off. The draw is great, the smoke output is pretty good. So yeah, overall no complaints. I'll be back in just a little while, we'll keep it moving. Continuing on, and that oily tobacco is still the main flavor here, but it's definitely... It's definitely not as strong as it once was. It's uh, sort of dissipated just a little bit, and it's allowed for a fairly standard milk chocolate to come in. That light roast coffee is still there, but uh, yeah, basically oily tobacco, uh, milk chocolate, and the light roast coffee. It's a simple flavor combination, but it's one that's working incredibly well. I am really, really enjoying this cigar right now. Uh, construction is still fine. Smoke output's good. Draw is perfect. So really nothing much to update there. Simple flavor profile, but it's working incredibly well. So I'll be back to finish it out and then give my overall thoughts. Finishing out this Connecticut Yankee, things are pretty much the same. That oily tobacco, well I shouldn't say things are pretty much the same because the oily tobacco is gone. Replacing it is just, kind of just a normal, kind of generic tobacco. A little bit of that chocolate left, a little bit of coffee, um, a little bit of that leather just here and there. But the oiliness of the tobacco has definitely pretty much completely died out. It's more of like a normal medium bodied cigar now. So that's okay, I would rather it die out here than somewhere in the first third. Uh, but I was really enjoying that oily tobacco flavor. Other than that, pretty much no updates. Uh, like I said, pretty normal, standard uh, flavor profile, but it's one that really worked well. Construction's good, draw's good. I knocked the ash off before I started this so it wouldn't fall on me again because I'm wearing suede shoes and that's a mess. So that's basically all I have. I'll be back in just a second to give my overall thoughts. You have it, the Victor Sinclair Connecticut Yankee Robusto. Overall, like I said, really good cigar. Uh, standard flavor profile, but that oily tobacco is definitely a, a surprise. Like I said, I associate that more with like medium to full body cigars, the full body cigars that have like a big, thick, oily wrapper on them. Definitely not something I, I don't think I've ever really gotten that out of medium bodied cigar, save for maybe like the Gurkha War Pig, which is another really good cigar. Um, Victor Sinclair kind of gets a bad rep in the cigar world. They're not seen as a fantastic company, but I've had my fair share of Victor Sinclair's, and I enjoy a lot of them. Uh, there are some, like the the one with the band, it just says Victor Sinclair, I think it's got like a bird on it or something. That one I'm really not terribly crazy about, but the Siri 55 line, the Don Raphael line, which they make, this Connecticut Yankee, the Vintage Select, which I should have a review up on somewhat soon. I enjoy Victor Sinclair. Um, boxes are incredibly cheap there. It's 
very, very inexpensive. And this Connecticut Yankee, I think for the Robusto size, which if you buy them by the box, it's not the four and four and three, four and seven eighths, four, four and three quarters. It's like a five and a half by 50. The boxes are like around 50 bucks. So if you're looking for just a good everyday cigar that won't bust your butt, bust your, that won't wreck your wallet or bust your bank, I need to learn how to talk before I do these reviews. It's a great choice. I would definitely, definitely say give this cigar a shot. Um, that's basically all I have. I thank you for watching. Follow me over at Instagram. I'm at Howard Cigar Reviews over there. I post daily cigar content, videos, pictures, <clears throat> excuse me, all that kind of stuff. Um, it's more frequent than over here. It's easier to take a picture than to upload a review. But I'm Howard Cigar Reviews over there. I'm Howard Cigar Reviews here. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care.